Hey guys, I'm here with another episode of my Ornstein run. And in today's episode, I'm going to go back down to Blight Town and take care of a, a particular spider bitch that happened to kill me last time. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah. So we're gonna have ourselves a good time and go down to kill said spider lady. If my frame rate will let it happen. And, uh, hopefully we can beat her this time. You. Fucking you. Soon. Soon. You. All right. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna have a bit of a dealing with him later on, but for now, we are going to go, as I said, back down to kill Kellogg's Frosted Flakes. Hmm. Maybe later. You, right now. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Fuck off. That's how you beat the game. Okay. Just gonna take an eternity walking back to Blight Town. Do a little dance on the on this uh, elevator. It's the only way to uh, pass the time in this game. Is dancing. If I were a speedrunner, I'd be using these elevator, these precious elevator times, to update my inventory. Pop a few humanity, drop a few frames. Apparently, uh, um, but yeah, I'm not a speedrunner. You, I guess you. Oh my fucking god! This specific, sp this specific pixel in the game's code is it's it was programmed specifically by Miyazaki. Oh, when the player gets to this spot, I want the frame rates to drop down immediately to five and I will be disappointed in anybody who tries to change that code. That spot as well. The My Miyazaki impression sounds like he's a, a fine British man. Hello there, I'm Miyazaki. You don't believe me? Why not? Okay, that's the speed run way of getting down. And I've forgotten where I am. Oh, there it is. There's the ladder. Okay. Let's go down the same way I went down last time. Why not? What doesn't kill you? Works. That's Dark Souls for you. Okay, come on, come on. Yeah. All right. Now we can appropriately jump off this ledge, plunging attack, and bounce away. You guys are getting some pro-level strats here watching the Bryson playthrough of Dark Souls Ornstein run. You're gonna get some tips you're not gonna find anywhere else. Exclusive here on Oh So Tasty. All right, time to go for a, a second attempt at this. <clears throat> oh my God! Here we go. Here we go. And hopefully this time I can actually do good. That's where is my? There they are. That's how you maximize playtime. Frame rate drop there. I, by the time I get through with this playthrough, I'm gonna know exactly where all of the frame rate drops are. The specific spots. Okay, I'm just gonna take a swig of this Estus anyway. And try this again. All right, spider bitch. I want pictures of Spider-Man. 
for some reason, Ornstein is J.J. Jameson. It's, uh, approved lore. Stan Lee has confirmed it. All right, all right, all right. I'm doing pretty good already. As long as I can stay out of this fucking hitbox bullshit with that lava. I want you to do a replay of that specific moment and see that I did not fucking touch that that lava. Don't you jump at jump at me with your attitude? I understand we get pissy sometimes. Oh my fucking god. That was just completely terrible. And uh, of course, I'm all the way back here, so I will see you in like 20 minutes when I get back there. Don't mind if I pick this up. I already got like 50 of them. And through the power of YouTube movie magic, you didn't have to watch that entire trek. And now I can go back and try and kill this spider bitch once more. But first, I want to get my souls back. No, thank you. Just say no to lava, kids. Fuck. I, the camera just decided to not work right there. Oh my... This is becoming a huge ordeal just to get my souls back. Okay. Nope. No, no you don't. That is not happening. That is not happening just now. Oh my fuck. No, 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 no you don't. Once again, it's not happening. I'm just gonna take a little bit of a sip there and go back in for a few slices. What, I totally rolled at that time. This game doesn't know how to actually play correctly. It's the game's fault. I was pushing buttons. Thanks, Miyazaki. Oh my fuck. Nope. No, you don't. God damn it. Come on. Come on. No, no you don't. Ha ah. ha. God dang it. God dang it. Okay, gotta get a few hits in, and don't get greedy. Do that attack more often. I like it because it's easy to dodge. No, you don't. Think you're gonna slice me with your sword? Think again! No. Okay. All right. <clears throat> no. What the fuck? I've never seen it act that way before. Okay, okay. Try this one more again. Okay, I can do this. I got greedy. Luckily, he used an attack that takes him forever to do, and he gets greedy. Or she gets greedy. It's a girl. I'm fucking stupid. I'm talking like the spider part and the, the female part are two separate things, but they're not. For some reason, it, like, to me, it's like, it's, she's the, the lady riding like a pet spider. Even though it's technically her body. Alright, I can finish this. Fuck you. Took you way too many tries. Get good. Kellogg's Frosted Flakes aren't even that great. Alright, time to go ring the second bell of awakening. And we can already head to Sen's Fortress. And then go fight Keenan and Cal, everyone's favorite boss. One of which I'm dressed after. Ornstein and Smo. Okay, here we go.
All right, and now we can head over to Sen's Fortress. But first, I'm gonna go down to the Witch of Isolith. And actually, honestly, there's oh yes, I want to go do ceaseless discharge. Just go ahead and take care of this little guy. For those of you who've never played Dark Souls before and watching this for the first time, why are you watching this? I'm skipping like a ton of shit. And uh But secondly, secondly, Ceaseless Discharge is arguably the easiest boss in the game. And I say arguably arguably meaning he is the easiest boss in the game and everybody agrees on it. Which makes the word arguably completely false. Um and you're about to see why. All right. Make a run for it. <clears throat> so I'm gonna run up to this altar that has the golden hem set and you're about to see what uh, Ceaseless Discharge looks like. And uh, this golden hen set, it was a limited edition special, special release. And it only came out with, with the, the Witch of Isolith movie back in 1998. Back when movies were good. You remember the 90s, right? Okay, so like, so like, this golden hem set, it was the limited edition. They only made like 10 of them in the entire world. And, uh, and Ceaseless Discharge over here... He, he went to great lengths to find it on eBay. He spent like five thousand dollars to buy this to buy this uh, this golden hem set right here. And see, look at him. He just his entire day is spent just sitting here staring at his nice collection of the golden hem set that he worked so hard to get. He even make a little shrine right here about it. And so what I'm about to do right here is just snatch that mother up, and he's gonna get right fucking pissed and be like, "You opened it out of the box. It was mint." I spent so much money on that. And then I'm just gonna make a complete run for it while he angrily shouts words at me that make... that, that uh, talk about how I don't understand the, the collector's value of, of this set. And I'm just gonna make a run for it. I'm just... I'm just uh, a, a scavenger. I, I took this, and now I'm gonna go scalp it on eBay for even more money. And uh, some some stupid idiot's gonna buy it for like ten thousand dollars, twice what Ceaseless Discharge here paid. And he's coming over of here like, what the hell did you just say, you fucking what? And uh, and uh, I'm just gonna run over here to the end exit, and he's gonna jump at me like, that was a limited edition value. And now he's holding on for dear life on this edge of the cliff. And I'm just gonna fucking attack his arm. Oh! My collection. And he's fucking dead. 16 fucking strength. Get good, motherfucker. And that's how you fight Ceaseless Discharge. <sighs> I think I'm gonna get back my way... I'm gonna make my way back up to Firelink Shrine, and that'll be it for this episode. But we had a good time. We had a good run. Um, let's see what we can do on the way up there. Uh, there's a Firekeeper Soul guarded by 60,000 blow dart enemies that'll toxic me. But the good thing about it is the fact that this is New Game Plus Plus. I've already maxed out my Estus Flask. I don't even need that fucking uh, Firekeeper Soul. So I can just go straight back up to, fi to Firelink Shrine. So you know what? You know what? Through the power of YouTube magic, I'm just gonna teleport us up to, to Firelink Shrine. And you don't even have to see a, a little bit of this. And... We'll actually uh, go a little bit into Sen's Fortress because I, I'm feeling feeling nice today. You guys get to see some extra content. Fuck. 
forgot the elevator wasn't there. All right, after a minor setback, I am here at Fire Lake again, and I'm gonna level up a little bit. Uh, I can only level up once, and I'm gonna level up my faith, so I can cast a specific miracle that I want to cast later on. But anyway, onward, wait. I think I'm gonna go ahead and get that miracle. Hmm. Yeah, I'll go ahead and get that miracle that I'm talking about. Because I know of a fast way to go do it. First, I'm going to get rid of these and equip a homeward bone that is so I can have quick access to it. Alright. And I'm just going to run through here. Wait. Uh... Wait, I'm gonna activate, I'm gonna rest at the bonfire over here so that when I use the homeward bone, it just brings me back to here so I don't have to travel as much to go to Sen's Fortress. And... Here we go, here we go, here we go, hurry up. Why do you run so slow? Okay, now that bonfire is active. And... Let us go and receive, wait, am I the right? Okay, I'm Warrior of Sunlight plus one. I think I have the Miracle of Great Lightning Spear, but I can't remember. I'm gonna check whenever I get the chance to next. Hey, Balder Knights. Fuck all y'all. Fuck all y'all. And I'm just gonna run through here too. Hopefully this this boar doesn't come from my booty. Even though I know it will. Yep. Of course. And I gotta go around this way because I didn't come through this way. Going up. Great. Poison. 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 And that's how you get through here. That is the professional way to get through here. Fucking rat! Oh my god, don't you fucking dare. Oh my god. Of course, another one. Why do these rats do so much damage? I'm just gonna activate this little shortcut here anyway. Oh my god, fucking get out of the- Oh my god. fucking hate whoever made that message there, because it almost killed me. That message actively almost killed me. It's a purple moss clump, because for whatever reason, rats poison you. Alright, let's activate this guy. This buddy. Wait. Wait. This has happened to me before, where the dragon doesn't even show up. So, let me see if that happened again. I'll just make a run for it. Like I've been doing. No, you don't. And here we go. I don't think those enemies will follow me up here, but they will shoot at me like fucking assholes. So, I guess I'll go kill them. Like I probably should have done in the first place. Stop backseat playing, Mom. I know you're watching this telling me, oh, you should have done this, you should have done that. You're not the one playing, I'm playing. This is my Dark Souls playthrough for the cool YouTube audience. Open that gate for future, just in case. I need it, and I will pray. And I will offer the soul of the great lord to get Miracle Sunlight Spear. Ah, <laughs> do I have another one? I think I, oh yes, I should have more 
I think I have enough to get me... Okay, that's it. And I already have the Praise the Sun gesture, so I don't have to learn it. Now I can use Homeward Bone. Okay, time to rearrange a few things. See, uh... Attune Magic. Do I have Great Lightning Spear? I do, okay. Ah, shit. I need 50 faith to use the Sunlight Spear. But... I will not be getting that with this playthrough, but I will get up to 30 so that I can use Great Lightning Spear. Oops. Okay. And in addition, I can use Great Heal. Awesome. Anyway, I will be right back because I have to use the bathroom. And I'm back from taking a whiz. So... First things first, this isn't a professional Dark Souls playthrough unless you try to just run as fast as you can through Sen's Fortress, so that's what we're gonna do. And if I die, I die. If I die, that'll be a sign that I should actually take this level seriously and, and actually try to do things other than just run through- What the fuck was that? That was some broken ass shit there. That's the strats for killing that guy. These are the only two enemies that I'm gonna like, actively fight seriously. And there we go. That's that for Sen's Fortress. I just beat it. That's the end of Sen's Fortress. <laughs> the rest will just me be running around with my head cut off like a chicken. I completely messed up that analogy. Running around Sen's Fortress like a chicken with its head cut off. That's the analogy I was going for. Fuck you. And just run past them. That's the, the ultimate strategy. If that's not how you play, you're playing Dark Souls wrong. Oh, fuck. And there we go. And... No. And there you go. Once again, gotta use the traps of this place to your advantage. Fuck that guy. Fuck all these people. You just gotta run through everything. No. And wait, wait, no, don't come yet, don't come yet. God damn it. Okay. Let's take care of this guy. There we go. And heal goddamn. Enemies in New Game Plus Plus do a lot of damage. It's almost as if they programmed the game to be harder when you're playing it through a second time. Okay, now here's the pro strat for getting through Sen's Fortress. Don't actually go through Sen's Fortress. You just run all the way up there, and then you pass up everything. And my speed run strats worked perfectly, like a charm. This is the part of the level that I hate the most because of the snake people I'm about to fight. I can make it, I can make it. Okay, here we go. These people are positioned specifically to piss you off. See, this guy right here tries to sneak up on you if you go after the snake bitch up at the top of the stairs. And I am going to give him a nice, good backstab. Teach him some manners to sneak up on me. And this is the only snake bitch that doesn't try to force lightning down your throat like an asshole. Now, time for a little bit of payback for the lightning bitches here, so. You like throwing lightning? Well, I do too. Oh, shit. All right. Let's try this again. You like throwing lightning? Well, I do too. Fuck you. What the fuck? 
One second. I'm gonna put this ivory talisman in my right hand so that it'll actually hit and not go th through the fucking wall. Try this one last time. Like a professional. And that's how you do it. Fuck him. And put that back there. Alright. Now we can continue through the playthrough. Like the professional Dark Souls players we are. And that's Sin's Fortress, uh, kids. Be sure to subscribe, like, comment, and that's how you do it. That's how, that's how you, you beat all of Dark Souls. You just run through everything. You don't play the game the way that the developers intended it. You just sequence break and run past literally fucking everything. Anyway, I think I've wasted enough of it. Some people are just so rude when you're trying to end a YouTube video. Anyway... Thanks for watching uh, this uh, second episode of my Ornstein's Dark Souls b playthrough, and uh, be sure to, to 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 watch more in the future and uh, come come back here to oh so tasty. So I'm just gonna have to uh, shoot lightning at you. Pshh.